When writing delivery menus, it's important to make them as clear and concise as possible with the order of how you're going to serve your dish. This will make it easy for the customer to understand what's going to come to them when they order that dish. Chefs should be redesigning their menus right now if you haven't already in order to make the same profit margin but having a lower cost of goods. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pokey Buddha bowl featuring lamb ribs that'll do exactly that. What I love about these lamb ribs is when you cook them low and slow and finish them on a high heat, they travel well and they taste great. Whereas if you had a steak, for example, and you grilled it and then sent it via travel provider, it might not get to the other side and have the eating experience that the customer would expect. At the end of the day, we want the meal to come to the consumer in an excellent format, so they're gonna enjoy it. The beautiful thing about these pokey butter bowls is that you layer the ingredients carefully and provided they're packed appropriately, they're gonna end up just as good as when you prepared it in your kitchen. The other good thing about these lamb ribs is that you could carefully remove them and put them in the oven or in the microwave, regenerate them and then put them back on the salad so the customer can have the product exactly how it was meant to be when it left the restaurant. Okay, onto the lamb ribs. Mirepoix into a shallow gastronome tray. Followed by the lamb ribs, we want the meat side down and the bone side up. Then we're gonna pour in our master stock, baking paper, aluminium foil, into the oven, 140 to 160 degrees Celsius, dry heat, for about an hour and a half. Next step, let's get our lamb ribs out of the oven to rest. Whilst they're resting, let's get onto the marinade. For our marinade, goja jang paste, lime juice, fresh ginger, a touch of honey, and some mirin. We're gonna whisk it all together, and then we're gonna put our lamb ribs into the marinade and then straight into a hot pan to get some good caramelization for our bowls. The solution I'm presenting to you is a cost-effective, beautiful bowl that looks good, remains fresh, and will get to your customer for them to have positive dining experience. And at the end of the day, it's economical and it's gonna return money to your till. And remember, a bowl can be anything you like. We're just showing you an example today, but it's up to your own creativity to make something special that's signature to your restaurant or cafe or food service outlet.